Good morning children. Today we will talk about the food we eat. But before that, answer some of my questions. Can we learn if we have no energy and feel tired? No, not possible. Okay, forget about the studies. Can you play your favorite game if you don't have energy? No, you cannot run when you feel tired. We need energy to do all our work which includes playing too. But do you know from where this energy comes from or who gives you energy? This energy comes from the food we eat every day. Food is very important for our body. Do you know why your elders ask you to eat not just your favorite but all the food which is served on your plate even though you may not like to eat it? This is because each type of food performs some special functions in your body. There are different types of food. Some food give us energy while some others help us to grow. First, let us find out which foods give us energy to work and play. Oil, sugar, potato, rice, wheat, are the some foods which give us energy. These are called energy giving foods. Are you of the same height as you were in the previous class? No, the children keep growing taller and bigger. Some food types help us to grow. They also make our bones and muscles strong. Milk, eggs, pulses, meat, and fish help us to grow. These are called bodybuilding foods. Now let us talk about fruits and vegetables. I know you kids don't like to eat various vegetables like spinach, cabbage, etc. But you know fruits and vegetables protect us from diseases. These are known as protective foods. So eat different varieties of fruits and vegetables. How about milk? Most of you children don't like to drink milk. But milk is important for the body. It helps us to grow, stay healthy and also give us energy. Hence it is called a complete food. So don't forget to drink milk every day. Carrot Cucumber, onion, capsicum are some of the vegetables which we can eat raw. But can you eat raw rice, pulses, potato? No, some of them are hard to eat while some are tasteless. So we cook them before eating to make them soft and tasty. Ah, yummy food! But you know, before eating fruits and vegetables, either raw or cooked, we should wash them first. Before they reach our home, vegetable and fruits grow through many hands and places. During this, they collect dust and dirt which can make us ill. That's why we should wash them before eating. Since the vegetables and fruits are washed, is it okay to eat food with dirty hands then? No. We should wash our hands before having our meals. Dirty hands have tiny things called germs which can make us sick. Apart from washing hands before every meal, there are other good eating habits that you should follow. At your home, why does your mother insist you to eat your lunch, dinner or breakfast at a fixed time only? You know. Having your meals at the same time is very necessary as it helps in the digestion. We should change some of our habits like talking while eating. This is considered as bad eating habit. Other bad habits are chewing with your mouth open, eating food too fast. So eat your food slowly, chew properly and don't talk while eating. To summarize, different food types perform different functions in our body. 
energy giving foods like potato wheat rice give us energy to work and play the protective foods keep us healthy and protect us from illness the body building foods like milk eggs pulses help us to grow and make our bones and muscles strong now that you know the importance of different types of food try to include different types of food in your meals not just your favorite ones never forget to wash your hands before eating food and the most important thing is never waste food talking about food i feel hungry now don't you all so meet you all again after lunch time enjoy your lunch bye bye